right, it's time Woo. to give a TNA impact for July 9th, 2007. TNA. <laughs> we <laughs> are wrestling. T. <laughs> Why does he put so much on a T? <laughs> T. A. Sports. 18 naked Tonys <laughs> in the showers. <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a. This starts with like whatever the song is that they start with for this Victory Road 2007 recap video kicks ass. Are you talking I about the song it. 12 CCs by the band On the Last Day? Is that what it is? Did it say that or you looked it up? No, I know that song. What? No, you don't, dude. What <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> You Tell don't know the 12 CCs. 12 Tell CCs the fuck by the Tell band me. On the Last no. Day, Tony. Tell you don't know because the band shit. is called 12 CCs, you dumb fuck. <laughs> no, Tony. Wrong again. Tell it's, this fucking guy, Tony. It's the song 12 CCs by the band On the Last Day. It's I don't about time you. somebody put this, this fucking dude in the dirt, Tony. No, fuck I I you know what's funny is I just reverse dirted this piece of shit. It's called 12 CCs by the band On the Last Day. Okay, you should sam this fucking song. I know it. Because I did the same thing, okay? You Piece what? Shit. This song, buddy? Tell him, Tony. Yeah. You Look, remember this song, my ass. Yeah, that's this, what I me, I, me and the boys were rocking 12 CCs by On The Last you Day were, all the you time. You were not. You were not. Why you say that? Why you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tony. I like the song, and I know the Because song. I knew 2007, James Darnell, Don't. and he was not rocking. Uh, 2007, Jason Darnell Don't. was a crazy son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> he had a private Discord server, so I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> Discord 2007. 2007. I was on, I was on Team Speak. Oh. I was venting <laughs> with the boys. <laughs> Get off vent or you will be vent. I was venting with the boys. Balls of steel. Balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Victory Road 2007 highlights to the song. Yeah, yeah. Looks Triple cool. X. Yeah. Uh, what did Triple, Triple X want a team Ultimate X match? Dude, it sounded like so. Let's talk about 12 CCs by the band on the last day. This sounded like <laughs> <laughs> this sounded like a Rise Against song for a minute. It definitely was every song that came out in 2007 in my fucking eyes. <laughs> TNA yeah. Victory Road 2007, by the way, one of my favorite Christian Cage fits ever, and he brought it back out for this show too. Which it's was the awesome. white, right? It's, yeah, it looks like he's wearing the fucking New York Jets. Yes, that's fucking goddamn tremendous. Jets. <laughs> <laughs> I love this man. That was awesome. But I want it. Whatever the song is, I still haven't figured it out. I just we told you. It. I just told you. Well, Tony Listen told me to something me. different. Acknowledge so, me. <laughs> 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 Whatever it is, we should use it for something. Yeah, you know I the first all. lyrics of this song. This is a quarantine. You aren't allowed. You aren't allowed to leave. Corona <laughs> virus. <laughs> Corona virus. Fuck. So they recap Rhino and James Storm. Uh, Dustin Rhodes fucking showed up at some point and hit Chris Harris or something. With a goatee. Yeah, he's looking crazy. And then there's abrupt uh, an abrupt ending to the video package with Samoa Joe holding the the world. They title. didn't even mix out the song. They just said, no, "Yeah, we're done with the song." So this victory road, by the way, was where they had all the titles on the line in the main event tag team style or something, right? Wasn't Joe that won there? most of the titles or something, right? Yeah, Kurt was it whoever pins justice. whoever wins the title. Is that how that works? I don't even remember the. Stipulation for that match. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. So whoever like pinned Win somebody, winner takes most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's so right. Joe got the pin, and then he wins the tag down. Is that how that worked? It's yes. the only what title he doesn't have is the is the world title. The world title, yeah. So the uh, impact intro is fucking. I, for some reason, I don't remember the impact intro having this many trusses in it. It's just fucking covered in trusses. I love that shit. <laughs> it's awesome. The uh, we were. I was looking at it the other day. I was sending it to Tony. The uh, TNA uh, Road Show. Um, yeah, pay per views yes. on the road. Oh, yes. That, yes, they yes. use the uh, multiple trusses back to back to back to back like Nitro That's used to so do. Awesome. I love That's that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a dream come true, really. Cool. Yeah, Tina had it all, those man. Up. You set those up, James. It takes us all day to set up one. Just one? <laughs> Holy Christ. <laughs> the lights on. How do you turn these lights orange? <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes before the show, someone kicks the cord and unplugs it all. Oh no! Uh, what do we do? It's also stuffed up its own ass. You can't even walk around it. No it's way. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I don't know. I can't imagine trying to set up all those trusses, man. That's crazy. Uh, so we go backstage here. JB is trying to get to Kurt Angle's locker room. JB, Jeremy Borash here, and I'm trying to talk to Kurt Angle. And he says, uh, Kurt. And Kurt Angle says, Go away. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you, man? And JB says, It's JB. And Kurt JB. says, 
So what? <laughs> Was I going to open that, the door for you? Is JB. Just, yeah, which uh, just lets him come in, and Cornette has sent him to go talk to Kurt Angle here. Yeah, so JB opens the door. Kurt is in his locker room in a tanning bed. <laughs> Inside of it. All the way in. On. By the way, this... <laughs> Tanning. It's like a tiny locker room. The only thing in there is a tanning bed, which <laughs> yeah, is hilarious. No chair. There's like a odd chair. <laughs> yeah, he's no just lockers. got the TNA title and the in the uh, IWGP title just hanging out on the chair. Yeah. Well, Can I just say also, fucking this IWGP design is awesome. It's very, very cool. Also, I like that TNA design as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Except for, yeah. So I don't, uh, have we told the story about that? Ye- probably a few times. I'm sure there's I, new I, people. Sure. Talk, yeah, try um, it So TNA had all those belts at the time, and they're probably the some of the best belts TNA ever had, those tag titles, yeah. the X Division title. Um, I was always a little more for the NWA TNA X title, but I like yes. this X title. I, I, the big fucking yeah. X one, I love. Yeah. Um, so they had all these titles. They got the, the Eagle belt uh, for the World's Championship, and they could not stop throwing these belts around. They uh, love which, trashing these fucking things. Which we actually see a little later, which I was like, oh, shit. Uh, when Joe and Angle meet in the ring. Um, but... The problem was with this belt is that there was eagle wings that came off the belt. Oh, no. And TNA would throw these belts around, and they would <laughs> constantly break these Just eagle wings them. off the belt. <laughs> and <laughs> I, can't rem- <clears throat> I can't remember who made the belt. Um, I can't remember if it was Wildcat or... Uh, no, I think it was was it Belts by Dan. Is that who it was? Yeah, I'm, I don't it remember who it was right, exactly. Yeah. Um, but whoever was making their belts at the time said... That's it, man. We're done. We're not doing yeah, this no shit more. anymore. We're not making these belts anymore, man. So TNA legit. <laughs> they were getting paid to make them. They just said, I don't want to fucking make this anymore. Yeah, man. no way. We're not doing this shit. <laughs> uh, and so TNA had to get new belts. <laughs> that's <laughs> From so different crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, and so, I mean, ROH had a similar thing happen. I was going to uh, say that reminds me of the ROH thing where like they had the rights to the belt, but not entire rights. So like they were selling replica titles or like action figure titles on uh wrestling superstore and then they got in trouble by the people that actually own the title so they tell them to fuck off man what a fucking waste those those roh belts were so They're nice, so nice. Yeah, there's like a man. triple crown belt that roh had and like adam yeah. cole i remember adam cole holding it oh, I was like damn that was like so the coolest cool. belt ever yeah and then fuck man those new belts i got i'm not a fan of those at all i'm glad they're going no. back to the old belts I love that Tony Khan just said, yeah, go back to the belts people remember. (laughs) (laughs) Give me the big fucking ROH-lettered world title. That's all I ever wanted, man. Yeah, that's sweet. I like that. Me too. Uh, Anyways, uh, Kurt is the TNA champion and the IWGP champion at the time. Uh, Of course, uh, we won't go too far into it because I don't remember the exact logistics of this, Um, but Inoki was splitting uh, and making the Inoki Genome Federation at the time. Um, So I don't think Kurt, I'm not even sure if Kurt Angle's actual reign with the IWGB championship is actually even uh, recognized, (laughs) uh, which is insane. Yeah, just insane, actually. Yeah. Um, Kurt eventually (laughs) ends up dropping the belt and they unify it, I believe, in a match with Shinsuke Nakamura. um, Yes, yes. Which is, uh, it's actually not a bad match. Kurt's Kurt's run here... um, Nakamura's not Nakamura really yet, though. Yeah, no, he's baby Nakamura. Um, Yeah. But... Still, they actually have a pretty good match. Nakamura always was, yeah, was always pretty solid. It's also probably tough to have a bad match with Kurt fucking Angle too. So yeah, right. Right. <laughs> they also destroyed their relationship with uh, oh, New great. Japan multiple times over the next, I don't know, <laughs> five years or so. Five years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had Jeff Hardy wrestled in the Tokyo Dome, fucked up against Naito. Uh, they had Okada come over, and then he was fucking the Green Shit Hornet on him. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. They, they switched the tag the titles shit. without telling them. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Fuck, man. The British invasion. The British invasion ruined everything. <laughs> 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 crazy times, really crazy times. I can't believe any of that. True, but it is. JB knocks on the tanning bag, and, and Kurt Angle goes, "What?" <laughs> JB says, "Cornette wants to talk Kurt, to you, is, man. This is important, Kurt." And Kurt says he he knows where to find me. He closes the tanning bed. And Kurt JB Angle looks. is, by the way, in yeah, panty oh. loons. He is just thonging here, full <laughs> ba- red thong and little tanning glasses. <laughs> That's all he's you wearing. Have to wear glasses, glasses, dude. You, of course, you don't wear the glasses. Your eyeballs is, will pop out of your head. Well, he keeps taking them off too, and while he's inside this tanning bed, which is surely dangerous. I also, JB's not wearing. 
JB's not wearing them either, so his eyes are fucked too. I can well, guarantee I you that Kurt Angle was on a different stratosphere. <laughs> he could have looked directly at. He could have directly <laughs> looked at the tanning bed and sucked up the power. Uh, <laughs> tanning I'm pretty, bed juice. <laughs> a Kurt Angle. Cracking <laughs> them like glow sticks. <laughs> He was that sport jumped off the stage, dude. Uh, that's what he had to do. Go wow, to the tanning bed and jump off the stage. That's something I haven't seen, like a tanning bed, like light tube spot. I guess no that's company could probably, afford to use a tanning bed for yes, a spot. Absurdly <laughs> fucking a tanning dangerous. Bed, <laughs> a tanning bed casket match or something? Yeah, I think that's, what, that's the next step. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Nikki Chance or whatever did it at one time. Whoa, wow. So I remember seeing a match with them where they had like this casket, casket with tubes. Light tube thing, yes. That was crazy. Like, do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> that was all yeah. See, y'all, y'all, y'all were there. You had to be there for that one. <laughs> so Kurt tells JB to tell Cornette, look, man, you know where to find me. I'm in this one little room here with the tanning bed. So just come here. And he closes it. And then uh, JB opens it back up and says, no, come on, man. <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta get you going. You really want here, me bro. to tell Cornette that? Yeah, like, like I got it, man. I don't know. What are you looking at my dick? <laughs> <laughs> are you looking at my package? And JB said, "No, I wasn't looking at your package." <laughs> and Kurt says, "How dare you interrupt the only Olympic gold medalist in TNA history?" And he closes it again. And then JB stops. He turns and looks at the camera. He looks back down. He opens it again. He says, "Let me get this straight." <laughs> 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 you want me to go tell Cornette this? Kurt looks up at him and says. Are you looking at my fucking dick? Look at my dick, bro. brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I he keeps covering it up, too. <laughs> he's got, yeah, he's doing this interview with JB, and he's just got both his hands on his dick. Don't look at my dick. Because <laughs> he doesn't want JB looking at his cock, of course. So we go to the first match here, Triple X versus Serotonin. Holy fuck. Dude, Bugs. how do we always end up watching a TNA show with serotonin, serotonin on it? Serotonin lasted for like three weeks. How did they, 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 were, they, were, they were never? They said Havoc and Martyr, and I was like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" And then of it's course, Michael Shane, Michael Matt Shane Bentley, whatever you call Johnny him. Johnny Devine. His name is yeah, yeah. yeah. They were a team for like five fucking minutes, and I swear to God, we've done like three shows with serotonin on it, man. This Somehow is we got to the we've gotten to the point now where uh, Kazarian is no longer in serotonin. I forget what was he just Kaz, right? Yeah, he was Kaz. Oh, Kaz. Not even Kaz XL. Wow. He's on a great Kaz. run, I hear. He's not on the run of his life yet, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Triple X just got back together. It's been four years since they were a team. Uh, it seems like they just put them back all together because they have all entirely different gimmicks. <laughs> they are. They are. They're all, it's uh, Senshi now, right? Yeah, he, Loki is Senshi. Elix Skipper is still, you know, just rocking Elix Skipper. Christopher Daniels is like... He's got a whole new face paint gimmick. He's the and Fallen all, Angel. All new, like, yeah, legit, he's, he's like the video game Fallen Angel at this point. 100%. I have, oh, right from the video game angle. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, they just, and Raven is also, it's Raven, Michael Shane, Martyr, and Johnny Remember Divine last time we Havoc. watched this? Raven said, I don't fuck with serotonin at all. <laughs> fuck this shitty group. <laughs> <laughs> that is well, not we're gonna my watch group. some good Raven TNA. Come on. Can we get that? We got that, we gotta, We'd have to watch the Weekly Johns for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. That uh, it's actually crazy if you want to compare Raven at the beginning of TNA to like 2007. Oh, this is um, just yeah. the guy that they had signed. Yeah, no, legit, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You cannot hear the fucking commentary, by the way. What is okay? W- that couldn't have been like this. Has to be like a fucked up. No like, way. I bet you it aired show, just right? like this. Really? I bet you it in 2007. They're probably yeah. yeah this is rocking. Right. That mix is crazy. <laughs> Bump that. If you don't, <laughs> yeah, you, don't have, you don't have headphones Turn it on. Up. HD was just coming around, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I, probably, I had a shitty little TV anyway. It probably didn't make any difference to me. Yeah, but this was rough. Like I couldn't this, hear anything. No, Promos no, backstage. No, no. Sometimes I couldn't hear anything. I was like, okay. Yeah, no, they were just doing shit. Um, so yeah, Kaz has cut ties with Raven and Serotonin, uh, which is probably a good thing. Kaz looks great at this point. Serotonin sucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to have like I, I feel like it's every fucking company ever is like, oh, we got Raven and Raven needs a group of fucking. Raven needs a block. Yeah, that's what they yeah, wanted. Yeah. Raven Serotonin didn't. Even, I don't think Raven even looked at either of these guys in the eyes once. Like <laughs> he had not want to fucking be in this group, man. <laughs> Serotonin gets heat on Daniels. Loki makes the hot tag. 
Loki's hot tag is fucking insane. Holy shit. Like the he match just, is going nowhere. And Loki said, I'm going to make this go somewhere. I'm going to kill you. Right I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to do <laughs> Seth Rollins move. That's weird that he did that. Oh my God. Why you did move though? <laughs> Raven, um, anytime Raven got in, he was just throwing like, knee lifts. <laughs> he threw a knee lift and did kicks and said, yeah, whatever. I don't know. It, was, it worked out though. Also, uh, Mike Tanay let us know that there's backstage news going on that a world champion is looking to come back to TNA. So text TNA to 76,000. Or enjoyed TNA Mobile. Who is this about? Who is I, te- I texted him and they told me to go to hell and die. I don't <laughs> <laughs> that's Maybe I got the wrong weird. Huh. I must have got the WWE hotline on. I feel like, I feel like it was almost <laughs> every other week. TNA, <laughs> TNA always teased a former world champion coming back. And then it, at one point, I think they were like, yeah, it's a former world tag team champion coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you're right. It was a former tag team champion. Did you guys hear? Okay, uh, sidebar real quick. Did you guys hear mm-hmm. about Loki at WrestleMania weekend? No. Okay, no, so he had a match, I guess, on the Impact. I think it was the Impact show with Homicide. Oh, he was. This is the WrestleCon show. Yeah, they were on the WrestleMania weekend show. Yes, yes. He got worked into a shoot by a fan ringside, and it just derailed the entire match. He like cut oh, a promo no. on this dude like during the match, and then like doubled down on it and shit and, like. I don't what? know. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, yeah. What's up with this guy, dude? That's like, incredible. <laughs> he wasn't in the first match in Arwood. <laughs> don't you guys remember Brian Davis in it? Fuck you. Yeah, Daniels. Daniels. <laughs> uh, triple X hits the Triple X, which is Skipper with the leg drop. Holy shit, Daniels that's awesome. Daniels with the BME. Low key with the double foot stomp. You're lucky low key didn't hit the double foot stomp, then get your ass back up and do the Warriors way, and then get your ass back up. <laughs> low key on that hot tag, I was like, oh, he's trying to make this match. I see. <laughs> Dude, he kills fucking. Who did they do it? I don't know. Did they do it on Martyr uh, Havoc, or, Havoc, or on Havoc? Martyr. On Havoc. Havoc. Oh, okay. Havoc. Yes. Notice was, Raven didn't take this. Raven got bumped out of the ring five minutes before this finish. <laughs> you think they even asked? <laughs> you think they asked? Hey, Raven, would you like to take a leg drop, a BME, and a double foot stop all in a row? <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Raven, will you take work my me, finish? <laughs> no, uh, no. <laughs> Kaz comes in afterwards and attacks everyone with the kendo stick. TNA yeah, yeah. at the time and uh, around this era where they were doing like hour shows and stuff. Yes, they tried to fit as many people on the screen as possible at all times. So mm. almost every single match would have a run in. We'll have a run in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is like you said, he comes in with the cane. He's whacking them all with it. Uh, Raven and Kazarian are brawling. Uh, Kazarian is here, you know, showing that he is no longer with serotonin, and he's back to his normal ways by wearing a TNA T-shirt and acid wash Hell jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. When I was, I used to love Kaz. I was like a big Kaz Me guy. Too. He didn't have like a. It wasn't I like a crazy gimmick too. or anything, but he was always super solid. I'm like, oh, he's got good look. I like this guy. He was cool. Yeah, and the flux capacitor was cool. The wave of the future was. Yeah, sweet. He, had, he had a lot yeah, of upside. Yeah. 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 So yeah, Kaz and Raven are brawling. They get the numbers game on Kaz. Kaz, Kaz gets out. Triple X's music is just playing the whole time. Dan, Dan. <laughs> Kaz, X, like, give it to you. Uh, <laughs> X, X. I used X. to love that song. <laughs> give it to you. I love that fucking song. I used to love that and the SEX theme. S E X. Sex sells. <laughs> you don't want competition. <laughs> So you better get off. <laughs> so we go backstage. Uh, JB goes to Kurt backstage again. He's in this tanning booth still. He just uh, he just strep opens the tan bit. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt is JB again. <laughs> Kurt says, "What the hell?" Kurt's ass <laughs> cheeks. <are laughs> Kurt, just Kurt's hanging on his out. Stomach. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be flipped like, over. It. He's like, you looking at my ass? I caught you. Dude, no, <laughs> no, I'm no, not. I'm not your ass. <laughs> Cornet sent me. I wasn't looking at your ass. <laughs> <That's what he laughs> no, Kurt, I wasn't looking at your ass. Cornette says, if you don't go right now, it'll be $10,000 out of your check. Kurt says, $10,000? That's like a suit to me. Uh, okay, I'll go I'll go see what he wants. So Kurt slowly gets out of this tanning bed, but almost butt-ass naked, just cheeks That's flopping awesome. out here, tanned cheeks. And he looks over and just his thong, and he says, where's my suits? Where's my titles? Where's my underwear? He looks at JB Honey, and he says, where's my super suit? <laughs> 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 he says, he looks at JB and he says, are you wearing my underwear? And JB says, I don't wear underwear. What Kurt the gets- fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he goes. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, I'll wear underwear. Be, and Craig yeah, gets underwear. a little smile on his face. And he says, ah, free balling. And Jamie's like, yeah. <laughs> That's the end yeah. of the segment. That's the end of it. You really have to see their faces as this is happening because this is absolutely <laughs> absurd. Because you wear my underwear. And I'm not wearing any underwear today. <laughs> Which is like, uh, this is fucking crazy. Like, why even? Why does that even have come up? Ah, I'm free balling. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy because Kurt is like, yeah, I have free balling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like and super into it. JB, JB's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this is absurd. Uh, I love this. This whole, I can't believe this is crazy because, like, this whole show was centered around Kurt Angle and his little speedo. And they're not like, this only is awesome. that, this is the show after the pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they're keeping the people. With. How are you going to get people to tune in? Yeah. yeah that's awesome. Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. <laughs> you know, you can't get enough of it, man. We God. are wrestling. Yeah, where's J- my underwear? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> I was watching, dude, JB is so much like Schmithers from The Simpsons, man. Like, he is like oh, the ultimate he is, Schmithers He's ever. great. I, I actually love JB, man. Yeah, JB's no, he awesome, plays man. his role so good, man. We go backstage. Letitia interviews Christian and his coalition. The coalition. Uh, about his match against Chris Harris. Uh, we got a tag match tonight. So I thought this was uh, like a, I thought he was going to have a match as another singles with him tonight, but it's Which a is tag. probably better. This actually ended, that yes. actually ended up being pretty fun. I thought so too. Um, Christian said that he's going to pin Chris Harris again, just like he did at the pay-per-view. Okay. Um, Letitia brings up Dustin Rhodes' involvement at the pay-per-view. They were just writing whatever at this point. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Dustin <laughs> Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Chris said, uh, yeah, he said, I'm the champ, and the champ never asked for anyone's help. And he said, but tonight, somebody's got my back. Anyway, and that's James Storm. James, you want to say something? What does James Storm say here? Yeah, stand all 10 out. Look at that beer going <laughs> that down. This is on the that. guy from 100%. Been down. Yeah. <laughs> he's the guy from the water boy. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He's Boomhauer from uh, King Boom of the Hill. Boomhauer is 100% what it is. He's Boomhauer, yeah, and AJ yeah, goes, oh, yeah. hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about right here, James Storm. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that sounds good. And Christian looks at him and says, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. And he said, that is Spanish. And Chris says, oh, what do you say? And he said, after tonight's match and you win. We're going out drinking. Hey, it's a hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow, this group's great. And Tomko, everyone leaves. Tomko with the IWGP Tag <laughs> Championship. This is insane. Walks up and says, that was ridiculous. <laughs> this is a fucked up scene, Tomko. <laughs> this whole thing is crazy. Um, I've been listening to My World a lot. I think one of the recent episodes was Destination X 2007. Yeah. Um, and... It's funny because every time Conrad asked Jared about Tomko, he said Christian Cage wanted him there. Because <laughs> <laughs> he is just there most of the time. And it's just like, wow. Yeah, yeah. I like Tomko with Christian, though. But I mean, I'm, you know, I, I don't, I wonder what you, what you think Tomko is making. Was he like, who, who do you think, you think he, he was got making brought in by Christian than- Cage, baby? He was making some money, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. He had like the, uh, uh, he was IWGP nations? champion. Johnny. <laughs> I don't know if they want. <laughs> so was Kurt or not. <laughs> yeah, we you don't think, really know. Think, think Tomko is making more than Martyr? <laughs> no, I yes. don't know. What do I have it? <laughs> that's fucking, I don't know. That's a, that's. We'll have to look at the logistics of this. I'm going to actually, on the next q and I'm going to ask Sarah. Ask what was them, the deal? Yeah, how much was Tomko making? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember Sarah Tonin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Undertaker's wife. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Team 3D Town Hall. Uh, Bubbier and Devon interrupt Don West and Mike Tanay. Yeah. Uh, they're running Shut down some shit. Shut your damn mouth. <laughs> Bubbier says, hey, man, we know the Steiners aren't here right now, but I know they're listening. How does um, he know that? Bubbier says the Steiners ruined Team 3D's victory last night at Victory Road. <laughs> um, they're standing in front of the commentary table here. They came out as Don West and Mike Tanay were going over the show card. <laughs> so they're standing in front of the table. They're showing Bubba Ray. And it cuts to Mike Tanay doing the Mike Tanay face. <laughs> Mike Tanay face. <laughs> right, I think you t- right at him. I, I think fucking... you tweeted it, James, didn't you? The did Mike you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I tweeted it. Yeah, the Mike Tanay. Oh, well, I really, I really saw today? a tweet about Mike Tanay earlier. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, yes, of course. Don't you do it. Uh, yeah, I love this face. I love the reaction here. Uh, it was awesome. Yes. Uh, uh, Steiner apparently almost died in Puerto Rico. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. So uh, Deb looked this up for me because I was too lazy. Uh, Deb uh, sent me a thing. It says, Scott Steiner suffered an injury to his throat at a TNA house show in San Juan, Puerto Rico this past sa- Sunday night. So this is what... Uh, Bubba is referencing here, where he's saying, you know, Steiner is out hurt. 
Uh, he said because uh, he says we demand to see Rick and Scott show up next week, uh, and we want to see if Scott has the nuts to get over his little injury and face this man to man. So Scott got hurt. Uh, he took a kick to the throat from Apollo in a tag team match that had him uh, teaming with Robert Roode against Jeff Jarrett and Apollo. Uh, according to the report, Steiner was scheduled to undergo trachea surgery on Monday. Uh, it was noted that he seemed fine after after the match, but at 2 a.m. he started showing uh, some signs of trouble with breathing and was rushed to the hospital. And there is no estimate on how long he will be out for, uh, but Bubba Ray wants to fight him now. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that like uh, they were running Puerto Rico a lot. Dutch was doing a lot of booking over in Puerto Rico, yeah. apparently, too. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. like, that's why where they even got the big abyss run was like Dutch was doing good shit with abyss and Puerto Rico. And they're like, yeah, let's do it here. That's what it took it, that you couldn't fucking figure that out. That abyss is fucking <laughs> the sweetest fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, Dutch loved that fucking uh, all those shit they did where, you know, he shot the mom three times or whatever abyss. Style. Oh, hell yeah, man. Because in Puerto Rico, that was real heat, brother. He yeah. wanted to really shoot abyss. <laughs> he was fucking coming to the show to kill this guy. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, Devon puts Tanae in a chokehold here. <laughs> which is fantastic. Because Tanae is like, Scott Steiner almost lost his life in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Shut how, up. Can you call that, how can you call that a little injury? And Devon snatches him up, and Mike Tanae <laughs> goes right into the microphone and goes, <laughs> just the most obvious ever. And Bubba Ray says, if you don't keep your mouth shut, you're going to have a little injury, which isn't really an intimidating threat. <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. <laughs> and Don West stands up because he's concerned. And he says, we wouldn't try anything. And Brother Ray yanks him over the announce table and then grabs the ring bell hammer and starts threatening people with it. And that that's, how awesome. the segment, that's how the segment ends, though. Like, there's no resolve. No <laughs> no one stops them. We don't know how they get off of Mike today. They just get the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> all right so anyways moving on <laughs> Tom West goes, security Help! <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little ball peen hammer this is like a he said like, oh i'm gonna do aces and ace i'm gonna do this shit i know that sure. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna hold on to this for a few years uh we go backstage kurt angle's walking down the hallway with jb jeremy borash and he's Still just naked. in his speedo and sandals and the little glasses <laughs> At least he has the sandals now. But yeah, why does he still have the glasses? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> he doesn't take them off the whole time. He walks up to this random woman in the hallway, says, hey, have you seen my stuff? And she looks at him and is disgusted and walks away. And he says, wait, she's never seen a man naked before. <laughs> And JB says, like, I don't, he's uh, just his little speedo. <laughs> JB is like a sidekick. He's not like he's not like against Kurt here. He's really on Kurt's side. <laughs> we go backstage more. Kurt Angle is now in the producers' room. No, this is the locker room, right? I think. Oh, okay. This is the locker yes, room. They're part. In the locker okay. room. Yes. Locker room part. He's standing on a bench, still full thong, still uh, tanning glasses on. He is holding court here in the locker room. Yeah. He is surrounded by the wrestlers. <laughs> There's like Homicide and Hernandez are here. I think Team Canada is here. Shark Boy is here. back there. Zabin, yeah, yeah, just everyone is here. Kurt Angle is in a fucking red thong holding court. And he says, somebody All stole. All TNA jabronis. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> Listen here. He says, someone has stole my Armani suit, my titles. And my underwear. It was always Armani suit every time, by the way. Not just yeah, suit. Yeah, Armani yeah, yeah. Make suit. Make sure you get that shit right. Armani suit. He said, when I look around, I see a lot of opening carters, mid carters, and main event wannabes. <laughs> All jabronis, stand up. <laughs> stand up. Stand up. He stand says, up. If you're gonna, Kurt very sincerely says, if you're going to steal, you know, stealing is wrong. <laughs> I see a lot of potential truck drivers here, but what I don't see is my titles, my Armani suit, and my underwear. <laughs> so I'm asking. That was so crazy. He's yeah. looking right at Shark Boy. I've seen a lot of potential truck drivers and 7 Eleven workers. <laughs> what the fuck? He says, I want my stuff back right now, and if I don't get it, there's going to be hell to pay. Speaking of Shark Boy, he turns around, he looks right at Shark Boy, and he says, What are you smiling at? <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? Shark Boy is always smiling. (laughs) Always. He can't stop smiling. He's just very happy shark man. He says, what are you smiling? What the hell's wrong with you? (laughs) Kurt jumps off the bench and starts whooping Shark Boy's ass in flip Shark Boy doesn't even say nothing. Shark Shark Boy's so down. Shark Boy's so confused. He He starts giving the meanest European uppercuts to Shark Boy. He's giving uppercuts. And then he drops Shark Boy. He looks down and he says, oh, you're so smiling, huh? He starts stomping him out. He's stomping. Shark Boy out in the sand. So no, nobody in the locker room gives a fuck either. They just no let him get his ass kicked. All jabronis and truck drivers. Shut up. I, I, 
I was, I was losing my mind. Oh, you're still smiling, huh? <laughs> uh, we talked about this a little bit before. Kurt Angle, when he came to TNA, was all in on TNA. Like, yeah. there's not a lot yeah. of people that came over to TNA at the time that were super all in. Like, Christian yeah. was all in for a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. But Kurt Angle was like, we're taking this to the moon, man. We're fucking doing this shit. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck. He would do whatever, man. Like, this is... This is so crazy. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> what are you smiling at? We got Lance Hoyt versus Kip James up next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you smiling at? Yeah, it's Not only that, it's Lance Hoyt with Christy Hemi versus Kip James with BG James and Roxy Laveau. And Roxy Laveau, I believe, just joined VKM at the pay-per-view yes. and hit yes, Christy did. with a fucking dominator. I don't know which I don't remember what she called Sweet it, finish. but it's cool, yeah. Like not just uh, not really Farouk style. She like kind of like body slams, uh, full, like yeah, body slam style, really. Right, Go from like, power kinda, bomb up to like a dominator, running yeah. power slam style. I guess you could say not yeah, except for the running style. Yes, yes, very. BG James is on commentary here as well, by the way. Yeah, jeez, you want to make this match? Uh, Lance fuck. Hoy uh, is out here with Christy Hemi. They're making out. Pretty sweet gig. Yeah, um, cool. nine one one fucking operator theme song. So you know that she's hot. <laughs> 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 Kip James, BG James, Roxy Laveau. I remember thinking at this time, I was like, man, this is the easiest Grand Slam hit of all time. I'm like, this is like the easiest home run ever. Roxy Laveau is good. She has she a look. She's cool as fuck. She has character. Is the easiest fucking home run ever. TNA yeah. said, are you sure about that? We can't. <laughs> <laughs> BG James on commentary. BG James cannot stop himself. He goes, we were trying to give Lance Hoyt the rub. You know, we say that in this business. Oh, my the rub God. We were trying to oh, brother. He's, he's trying. He's also for a moment trying to put over Roxy Laveau, and he's screaming about Marie Laveau, who is uh, I, Roxy Laveau is a direct descendant of Marie Laveau. He said, look her up. Look her up. <laughs> like, no, man, stop. She's the OG voodoo queen. And I was yes. like, why do you need a voodoo queen in the VKM? And then I realized it's voodoo in mafia so yes. they literally voodoo literally <laughs> we need a voodoo girl is what you it don't is. need a vo- it was a rip off of Vince McMahon why do you gotta do a voodoo dude easiest grand slam home run ever with her they they did nothing with her she did win uh, queen of the cage at lockdown 2008 what the hell is that congrats <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So yeah. Was a, the 2008 match began as a reverse battle royal with eight wrestlers. The first two oh, that entered the cage shit. that yeah. you yeah. oh, Fucking hell, man. <laughs> they have to climb over the first two to climb over the cage and get in. Oh, now this, in a one-on-one match. Here you go. She competed in the TNA Knockout Makeover Battle Royal, a two-part match where the first part contested under normal battle royal rules. And the last two women in the ring would then compete in a ladder match <laughs> where the winner would become the new number one contender while the loser would have their head shaved bald. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Easiest Grand Slam the home the run Oh, shit. Ever. I'm looking here. She was a DPW women's champion. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Wait, is that man. right? Is that real? Defiant Pro Wrestling. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, and then she they dropped the Laveau portion of her name, and she was just Roxy. Uh, and then she became the hardcore knockout. Um, and you, you can you know where that went. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she was gone. <laughs> Damn, man. Uh, that reminds me of Mel in AEW. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. That. I forgot about Mel. Yeah. They brought they her shaved in. Shaved her head, too. Shaved her head and said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. Well, it's just like what they do with Deeb in WWE, right? Shaved her head. Shaved her then- head. That's See all it. we got. Don't let them shave your head. Don't, Don't yeah. let them do it. Listen, Don't let them do it. it. It worked out for Kurt Angle and Molly Holly. Come on. My Maybe it's time to see. Don't yeah. shave your head. <laughs> <laughs> Kip hits the Famouser uh, after a missed boot from Hoyt, and he yes. wins in three minutes. First off, <laughs> damn, what are y'all yeah. doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, they tried to give him the rub in the business, brother. God damn it. Push you got style. BG James on commentary <laughs> trying to get the rub. <laughs> Sweet style from BG James and Kip James. Kip James said, how about I hit you with my finish and you lose, you bitch. bitch. <laughs> get voodooed. Oh, my God, man. Holy shit. I'm so, surprised they were still calling it the famous, or I'm surprised they didn't call the fuck you, Paul Fucker. <laughs> yeah. The James. The Is James. The James. On there. Yeah, the Everyone had James the in it. <laughs> oh my God! So he's the famouser. Uh, Kip James just destroys 
fucking I'm a seven foot fucking Lance Hoyt man. It's just like damn. And B, yes, BJ James is screaming on commentary about the new. Is this a new and improved Voodoo Kin Mafia? And Mike Tanay says, "Wow, <laughs> the, the, v, the VKM and TNA." And BJ James gets so close to the mic, he says, "You damn right." <laughs> <laughs> So Christy Amy is pissed. Uh, she gets in the ring. Holy <laughs> fuck, dude! Dude, you want to? Hey, you know, hey, you know what TNA said tonight? They said Lance Hoyt and Christy Amy. How about you both just eat as much shit as you really <laughs> possible? We really oh have to God, get over the die. VKM. <laughs> make sure you call Christy a bimbo seven hundred fucking times here. Call Can her you a make bimbo sure and then beat the fuck out of her. All right, yeah, just hit her with your finish and then. Call our bimbo some more. You fucking just fucking bury these two. Christy these guys Hemi suck. Try, gets in the ring, tries to low blow Kip James. Kip somehow sees this coming, grabs her arm, fucking holds both her arms, and Roxy comes in, does her little shimmy shake, hits the dominator, and then did it, did it, did it. Help me! Help me! They're stifling my push! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane there's like no there's no who fuck man we could do yeah. a whole show about breaking this fucking down what was going on right now we could do like a whole series on vkm <laughs> what was going on with this man <laughs> this is new and improved vkm though you, know. <laughs> you damn right <laughs> We're all in on the voodoo part of the VKM. Hell Let's yeah. run with that. <laughs> uh, we go backstage. Uh, Leticia interviews Samoa Joe about his big challenge. Dude's holding like four titles right now. <laughs> it's all so him. fucking sweet. He's all the belts. It is very fucking cool, too. Uh, he says that uh, one person affected is going to have to wait until later to hear about this challenge that he's got. I got a challenge, and I'm not telling you about it, bitch. Why right, see you. Why they even show this? <laughs> <laughs> gotta get everyone on again and again. I don't yeah, know. True. Um, yeah, backstage. Why, honestly, why did they? Like, I feel like that just gave away the finish to this Kurt Angle thing. Like, why did they even have to do that? No clue, dude. Not <laughs> one. Uh, you're lucky Kip James didn't go back there and give him the rub. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. You damn Joe, right. Joe, don't let them touch your hair. <laughs> Joe, it doesn't oh, work no. out. We got they a match. shit on your face when they do that. <laughs> we got a reverse Battle Royale ladder match idea for you joe <laughs> joe they shave your head and you get kidnapped by ninjas bro it's fucking no. don't do it <laughs> we got this idea uh we go backstage the camera is just <laughs> focused on kurt angle as it pans out to this table of producers yes. It is a conference room with a conference table that Kurt Angle is standing on. Now, not only <laughs> is Kurt Angle standing on this with goggles, thong, and now he is barefoot, but for some reason, JB Jeremy Borash <laughs> is also standing on the table with him. He's got to hold the microphone, you know? Holding the microphone for him. And Kurt is looking around. This It's a room full of, you know, they got the camera people in there, production crew. And Kurt says, you know, when you cross, I brought you all here for one reason and one reason only. He says, when you cross Kurt Angle, there's going to be hell to pay. And he, he just runs over the same speech that he did for the boys. He says, I know you guys don't make a lot of money, and you could get a lot of money for my titles and my Armani suits and my underwear. <laughs> no, I know there are a lot of truck drivers and several other workers in here. <laughs> he does. He says, all you blue collar workers don't get a lot of money. <laughs> I know there's a lot of blue collar workers. He says, but that is stealing. And stealing is wrong, <laughs> just like Samoa <laughs> Joe, who stole my tag team titles. Now I'm going to turn around, I'm going to turn my back, and I'm going to count to ten. And when I turn back around, I want my stuff to be in the middle of this table. I thought he said the middle of this ring, but I think it was the table. He said, is that understood? Is that understood? I say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He walks to the end of this table, and he stands in front of a man who is sitting down with a bandana on. And I was very offended by this, that he did this to this man. <laughs> Kurt is standing here, and the shot that you see is just Kurt Angle's fucking ass. <laughs> and he knows it because he is flexing his ass cheeks for the camera. <laughs> They're gyrating, and he's not even doing it on purpose. He's, he's having fucking... butt spasms on camera. <laughs> he has uncontrollable cheek syndrome that he is portraying here. Kim James is about to come in with the rub here in a minute. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Kurt is counting to 10. One guy stands up and he goes to leave. And he's like, oh, this is ridiculous. And he goes to leave. He's trying to leave. And Kurt Angle looks around like a horror movie villain. <laughs> and he says, oh, this is ridiculous, huh? Kurt walks to the end of this table 
and hits a double axe handle to this man. <laughs> he's, just wearing, the, he's just wearing khaki shorts, man. He's just he's trying to just, live. He's just polo shirt and khaki <laughs> shorts. None of these Chris. guys are writing the show, by the way. No way. I don't know what these guys are doing. That guy probably holds the cables or something. He's holding cables. Kurt double axe handled butt cheek style and starts whooping this guy's ass. And he fucking uppercuts him to the floor. He picks him back up, puts him in the chair, and says, this meeting is not over. And then hits him with a fucking uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> like, Anyone else want some? And he pulls the glasses down and says, I didn't think so. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs> what the this fuck? This is the he show after the, the baby. the glasses man. back down? <laughs> Why did he put the tanning glasses back down? Kurt, Those are like the straps. Those are like the straps. Holy with the shit. little glasses. Samo, this show is like, man, if we don't have Joe and Angle on this show, man, I don't know what the hell's going on. This is crazy. These guys are just like a whole different level here. I couldn't yeah. believe he double like the, the again. I feel like this is an episode. Like I know, we, I feel like all the episodes you guys should watch just to understand what we're talking about. But you got to see Kurt Angle in this episode, man. This is like an all timer fucking Kurt Angle show. Yeah, it really yeah. is. It true. Like this is Kurt Angle at his finest. He's going nuts here, man. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So we have Christian Cage and James Storm versus Rhino and Chris Harris up next. Rhino, uh, shaved face here. Clean baby Rhino. I kind of cool. like this. I that was, cool. I, that was He cool. did have the deadlock D on as well. Shout out. Of course he did. Hell yeah. This is TNA shit right here. I like so that. They, they recap James Storm hitting Rhino in his fucking face with a beer bottle at the pay-per-view and also uh, exploding jism keg in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> a little pony keg. He just fucking pours a keg in his mouth. Uh, and they also recap Dustin Rhodes attacking Chris Harris oh to help God. Christian win. And then they keep showing this shot of Dustin Rhodes' just grumpy little face. Is <laughs> this the natural, is the natural Dustin coming Well, they back call him what? that, Tony, I believe. Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> Dude, okay, so... Chris Harris at this time, they were just doing nothing with this guy. So Chris Harris, he, uh, uh, they gave him, they gave him this white. Fu- he either he gave himself this or they gave him this, and this white jacket was the downfall of Chris Harris because <laughs> he never recovered from the white jacket no, push no. that they tried to give him. Man, he thought they looked sweet as hell. He's like, "This is my main event look," and it did not fucking work, man. <laughs> Chris, uh, from what I understand, uh, Jarrett talked about it on the podcast a little bit. Uh, Harris and Storm were Bob Ryder guys at the time. Um, um, Bob Ryder has gone, right? Yeah, our, uh, Bob. He well, Bob Ryder was like uh, he was like super anti Russo, and okay, Russo's writing the right. show at this point. Yeah, and you know if you're if you're Bob Ryder guys, Russo's not going to write you anything worth the shit. <laughs> No and way. Harris Damn. kept complaining and kept complaining because he's like, I want to do something else. I want to do something else. I want to do something else. Put this jacket on. Yeah, Russo said, yeah, we got you, man. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> of course, we know Chris Harris ends up getting released and then uh, goes to WWE. And then, oh, he's no. like, hey, he better be lucky they didn't shave his head. <laughs> yeah, they were like one match away. <laughs> it was coming. Reverse battle royale ladder cage Hell match. Yeah. You're about to get oh, fucked. No, no, Dumb no. style. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Chris is out here. He's got the best interest gear he ever had. I love this shit, man. God, I it's love so this. It's so cool, man. All time look for him, man. Just good lord. I, if I was fucking, we were in the room in there, I'd be like, yeah, he's still the champion. I don't know, man. He's got to be the champion. He just yeah. looks like a champion. He carries himself like a champion. He's got he's his so group. over too. Yeah, man. There's just fuck so. Much I love him here. having a group too. Like he's like. Uh, it's I don't know. There's some guys that like should just have a stable. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. You know, like Raven. <laughs> This is a <laughs> well. <laughs> this is an all-time uh, Christian group, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god, it's awesome! Yeah, Christian Cage, James Storm, AJ Styles, Tom Co. Like, there's yep. so much Sweet. going on here, man. Um, so Rhino and Christian in this match here early on to a spot where Christian gets flapjack pretty high. I feel yes. like they use that in video packages forever. <laughs> I think so too. But I think that might just be like a vintage like Christian spot. Like he's real good at taking the flapjack. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I've seen this, I don't know, two or a million yeah. times probably sure. in my life. Um, Harris and Storm are so good at this point, man. Uh, which is, you know, it's crazy looking back on it because I think everybody saw Chris Harris as the breakout between these two guys. I um, did. And- I uh, I was in an E-Fed as Chris Harris. I thought he was the next big fucking thing. And fuck me, man. Fuck me forever. Uh, James Storm. I mean, they're both firing off here. They get into the ring with each other and they're doing like, they're so fast and so mean. And it's like, yeah. man. What? Like, 
The talent had, was never the problem. Here. I was going to say, like, because Chris Harris was good. That's the most annoying part is that, like, he probably should have been a much bigger deal. Like, James Storm obviously comes around. His fucking gimmick gets real fucking sweet, and he just becomes, like, a star. Like, Chris Harris, I don't know if he just didn't find it or they didn't give him time to find it yeah. or whatever it may be. Yeah, Chris probably. Harris was fucking good, man. He was good, and like he looked good. He too. looked good. Yeah, absolutely. Storm goes for the super kick here on Harris. The last call. Um, <laughs> Harris ends up moving out of the way. Hits a very iffy catatonic gear. Oh man, I was so excited because I was like, "Oh, I fucking haven't like see." I feel like I haven't watched Chris Harris like do this in a minute. I was like, "Oh, here we go," and I was like, "Damn, look at this." He fucking shit it in it. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, Chris. Come on. Think about doing it again. Yeah. Free tape, man. Stand Fuck up. It. Stand up. <laughs> uh, Tom Coe pulls the referee the, out. Uh, was that before or after the Tower of Doom suplex thing that they did? Oh, yeah. That was real early on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Um. So Tom Coe pulls the ref out here. Yes. Uh, Dustin Rhodes comes in the ring. Fucking hell. It's Chris Harris with a steel chair from behind. He that was a good chair shot too, by the way. Like he, he hit him with it. Yeah, he ain't pulling all that shit. I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, Storm then pins Harris, uh, and then James Storm and Christian Cage win the match. Fuck you, Chris Harris. <laughs> <laughs> You're you are out of here. God, uh, man. Rhino attacks James Storm after the match, but Jackie makes a save. Miss Jackie Moore gets in, like drags Rhino off by grabbing his hair, and Rhino uh, she goes to slap him, but Rhino catches it. Rhino pr goes to press slam Jackie, and Tomko comes in and just kicks Rhino right in his fucking face, man. Yeah, I couldn't so, believe that. So hard. <laughs> he was so hard. And Rhino falls back. Jackie falls on top of him. Uh, Christian and James Storm then have a post-match beer, bottle style, and they, uh, they drink, and they go to pour it on Rhino. But Abyss's music hits. Lights go out. Abyss comes out, fucking chases everybody away, uh, and everyone's like, ah, they, they scatter. But that's not it. Because uh, Christian is on the ramp. Uh, Tom goes up there, too. I think uh, James Storm is up. I don't know if James Storm was there for this either. I don't know if he I didn't see James side. Storm on the ramp for this. Yeah. So they're on the ramp, and Abyss is in the ring. And Sting, in the background of Christian, like, laughing that he escaped from Rhino, Sting is whooping Tom goes ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just beating the shit out of him with a bat. And then he walks up behind Christian and very slowly sticks the bat between Christian's legs. Uh, Big style. Christian, yeah, this is fucking weird. <laughs> this was. Style, that's awesome. Yeah, like very pee pee style for sure. <laughs> and he crotches him with it, throws Christian back in the ring. Abyss starts whooping his ass. He goes for the black hole slam, but Christian bails out. Not only out of the ring, but he goes through the crowd. And what I loved even more that he goes through the crowd is Abyss chases him through the crowd. <laughs> he goes out <laughs> after him, which is awesome. I like that Abyss when he he Christian bails out. Uh, Abyss is doing a spin in the ring because he was trying to do the black hole slam. Yeah. So he does a spin in the ring, even though Christian bailed out. <laughs> even though he missed it. it yeah, 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 yeah. That's so you... fucking cool, man. Abyss was yeah, so man, good. Uh, uh, yeah, man. I, 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 it's a shame they could never find, some, you know, figure out something for Abyss. They, I, I, From what I understand, they were about to give him the rub. From what I understand. Interesting. <laughs> no, not the rub. No. I think he had too much hair for that. <laughs> I'm going to give you the rub. <laughs> Funny That's story funny. from way back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but uh, Jackie, they didn't call her Miss Tennessee anymore. Uh, and there was a rumor yeah. going around back in the day, a rumor from the dirt sheets, that said oh. uh, that a pageant called into TNA the Miss Tennessee pageant and said, you Whoa. better stop calling no her that. No way. I never heard that. Wow. I believe wow. it though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's true, but it's funny that, that uh, that, that reminds yeah. me of uh, the, uh, you, you remember the CZW Iron Man championship? Yes, I do. They had that forever. This was not a title that was held by Iron Man rules, by the way. It was just, it was just called cool, Iron cool Man. Cool name, really. <laughs> yeah, it was a cool name. Yeah. yeah. So they had that forever. And then I feel like I, it, maybe 2009, like Marvel came a call in and said, hey, at least this is the story that they said, hey, fucking stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know if that's, I don't know if they, Marvel would have known about CZW <laughs> using the Iron Man championship. But then they had like Sammy Callahan, like taking a name with the new horror title which uh, everyone always said it made it sound like a new horror title so it didn't really last that long <laughs> uh so after that we uh go backstage here uh and kurt angle has found jim Cornette. 
Great. And Cornette says, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Looking like that. And Kurt says, somebody took my suit and my title, my Armani suit. <laughs> and Cornette throws a robe at him and says, you better put this on if you want to say something to the people. And I want that 10 grand on my desk by Monday, <laughs> which I thought was a sweet line. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Jim Cornette was writing anything at the time or if he was just on screen. He might have just been on screen, but I imagine he probably was like being, you know. He definitely didn't have anyone writing his segments. I know that much. Yeah, no, no this way. This is the no, Cornette no segment way. I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jim Cornette said, cover your penis. And Kurt said, okay. <laughs> I will do that. Segment. <laughs> uh, we go backstage again. Uh, Letitia follows Christian and Styles as they're trying to leave the building. The they classic TNA parking lot. <laughs> they are running through the TNA parking lot. He's yelling at her. There's no time for scoop. We have to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, there, there is no scoops. <laughs> no scoops. But there's no time for scoops. <laughs> Christian is just fucking perfect at this. Um, Styles says that we don't have a vehicle to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, Christian asks, "Where's the car?" And AJ says. Car? <laughs> he looks at him like he's speaking another language. Car. I don't have a car. I have a truck. And Chris says, "What fucking day would do it?" <laughs> AJ is great here. They're just awesome. Yeah. Uh, Robert Rude and Miss Brooks come up, what? and they say, "Hey, we'll take care of Abyss." And he says, "No way, man. No way. We're staying here. We're in the list." Christian says, "Get me the fuck out of here, dude." <laughs> As they're running, he says, "Drop the bags." He goes, "No, you got your gear, and I can't drop the bags." <laughs> Styles said he could take care of a business thing. Uh, and then they end up running away. They run to a truck, AJ Styles' truck over in the corner. AJ uh, is yelling back at Robert Roode as they're running to the truck and says, ha ha, look who's riding with Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Styles gets behind the wheel. Christian gets in the fucking seat. Christian yells out of the car. He says, back to the street corner, trick. We're out of here. <laughs> AJ, know, at one point, oh, yeah, AJ on. says, you know his real name is Bobby. I don't know why he's like that. He's talking to Robert Rude. He's like, you know, it's really is Bobby. <laughs> As they're running through the parking lot. I think. <laughs> AJ, also, they get into the truck, and AJ, look, Christian's in a panic, and AJ looks over and says, what do you want to listen to? Christian says, anything but country. <laughs> <laughs> he says, get, get us out of here. He starts the ignition, and you hear, ah! <laughs> Dude, this is, this is this is like the most. This is why wrestling is so fucking good, man. Like this whole show is like, like I, obviously it could work in like a movie or whatever, but like this only works in pro wrestling. For no, me, man. Yeah, hell yeah. AJ is in the front seat of this truck. He adjusts the fucking mirror, and he see. Not only does he see Abyss <laughs> in the back seat, not only is Abyss just there, Abyss does the Abyss pose. <laughs> That's so beast. I just imagine him having chains for some reason, yeah, too. I don't think he did, but... <laughs> yeah. He does the Abyss pose, and, goes, and then Christian and AJ freak out and run away. I fucking love this fucking show, man. Abyss then steps out of the car to look at the camera and go... <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> so after that, uh, it's actually time for the end of the show. Uh, Kurt yes, Angle is. is here for his town hall. Um, oh boy. Kurt Angle makes his entire <laughs> entrance through the floor with Pyro with a bathrobe <laughs> and tanning robot. glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the robe, the glasses, and he has the the, sli uh, the flip flops back on now, but he is wearing a robe. And the Pyro and all that too. Pyro, <laughs> full entrance, man. <laughs> this is so fucking sick. Kurt Angle says... I like pranks, guys. I'm, I'm I a big prankster humor. myself. Yeah. Uh, I love this pranks. Pretty, this is pretty funny. This is not a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Angle says, it's probably one of you fans that took my damn shit. Go sell my underwear for $2,000 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I can't seem to come up with any of my stuff. If anyone's going to steal my titles, my Armani suit, and my underwear, who would be sick enough to steal my <laughs> underwear? Have to be one of you fucking fans. And then he says the $2,000 thing, and Don West says, $2,000? <laughs> <laughs> And Kurt says, uh, if I'm going to have to come out there and beat all your asses, I will do it. I want my stuff back. And then Samoa Joe's music hits. And Samoa Joe comes out with every championship in TNA all history. <laughs> <laughs> this all is the titles so cool. Buckled together over his shoulders. And he also has uh, the Armani suit in his grasp. And Joe gets in the ring and he says, rest assured, I'm no thief. But I don't think this is true, Joe. You were holding all this shit, but that's fine. So I came out here to put the past nine months behind us. Tonight in this ring, I want to start the next chapter in yeah, Samoa Joe's Yeah, wait a minute. So what's angle. the deal? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he so do? I just, I steal this shit. What? 
I'm no thief. He says it twice. I'm no thief. These belong to you. What, man? <laughs> Why did you do this, this is at crazy, all? This is a crazy shit, man. I don't know. He said, we want to find out who's the best in the world, and judging by all this gold in the ring, you're looking at two of the best in the world right now. By the way, here's your clothes back. I didn't steal your underwear. You showed I up with those on. Shit, <laughs> I, I didn't steal shit, man. I did not steal your steal underwear. Stuff, right. <laughs> <laughs> at Hard Justice, Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle, one more time. The last time we did this for pride and respect, at Hard Justice, how about we do it for all the gold? And are you in? Or are you in? <laughs> That's the, Samoa Joe stole all Kurt's stuff and then gave him an unfair question that he could not refuse. This is a fucked up situation for Kurt Angle here. I'm actually starting to feel bad for the guy. Joe says, or he asks Kurt, he says, are you in or are you in? And then Don West says, oh, he has to be in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fucking That's right. true. That is for <laughs> true. Uh, so Joe extends the hand, and Kurt thinks about it. You can see him counting in his head how many championships he <laughs> are in the ring or on the line. I don't. Was the IWGP title that he did or I did guess not have? So. Yes. Yeah. Every title, everything in the ring was on oh, the wow. line. Yes. Okay. What about the Armani suit? Uh well, I don't mm. know because that could get stolen again. That good. God damn Joe it. Oh, well, Joe is no thief though. No way. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> so. uh he, Kurt thinks about it. He shakes the hand, and then they hug. <laughs> I don't know why they hugged. Joe raises Kurt's hand, and then fucking headbutts him, <laughs> and then starts <laughs> stomping out Kurt Angle's naked ass. <laughs> His robe is falling all off. He just stomping him out. Joe goes out of the ring and then gets a table. What the fuck is happening here? He puts the table in the ring, puts it in the corner, goes to powerbomb Kurt through the table. Kurt gets out of it, and then naked-ass Kurt Angle hits a fucking spine buster through the table. What the fuck? This is crazy. And then Angle locks him, Grape finds him, bites his <laughs> boot, and that's how the show ends with naked-ass Kurt Angle beating up wow. some Joe. <laughs> what the fuck? That's called the rub. Adrenaline rush, <laughs> adrenaline rush. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. What a fucking... What a fucking show, man. I mean, this is a, absolutely the epitome of the Kurt Angle show. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what they call it. That's what they that's say. That's what they call it. I, well, yeah, that's what, he, yeah, that's what they say. That's what he calls uh, it. Yeah. Best and worst of TNA all in an hour. Yeah, fucking, you're right. Yeah, that's fucking true. 